The presupposition that raw milk contains harmful bacteria comes from the industrial revolution when we first started bringing these animals into these horrible polluted areas. If you know anything about the industrial revolution, anything about history, you know exactly why bacteria would obviously get into these cows and even affect the raw milk. Raw milk is so powerful, contains so many mechanisms that stop bacteria, it should tell you how bad the conditions were in the industrial revolution. Dairy in fact is actually the safest food group to eat. Yes, the safest out of all of the other food groups. And I just said why. The inbuilt enzymes and mechanisms in the raw milk, in the dairy products that actually stop bacteria from forming. But we'll get into that into a sec. Let's address the elephant in a room. What, is raw milk even beneficial? Is there even a point? Is pasteurized milk literally, if you can just get pasteurized whole milk, is that just as good as raw milk? What's, it, what's the point? Is pasteurization just really just heating? Or what is it? Lactoperoxidase is one of the most OP systems in raw milk that make it so safe to actually drink and as you see in the diagram that I'm literally showing it is 10 times higher in the animal milks. Countries are literally looking towards using this sort of thing for pasteurization procedures to make pasteurization better because it's that effective. You can see the built-in components in the blood of the cow that transfers into the raw milk. The antibodies, the B lymphocytes, the macrophages, neutrophils, T lymphocytes, the immunoglobins, the antibodies that they have in our body that transfers into the raw milk and completely destroys any bacteria trying to get in. Like bro, imagine actually trying to get into raw milk. You are bacteria and you're trying to get into raw milk and there's all these mechanisms that's stopping you. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. There's a five-fold protection system in raw milk that literally makes it safer than pretty much any other product on on planet earth and even improves your gut bacteria significantly if you know anything about your gut health you know that this is one of the best things you can do to optimize your brain the reason why it's so good for your gut is because of the fat intake the fat in it actually helps you so much now 99 percent of the bacteria that supposedly comes from the raw milk in many of these recorded cases actually came from other foods in the diet that these people were eating but because they happened to drink raw milk the government and the people recording these studies automatically assumed it was the raw milk that was causing these bacteria. It is large amounts of government bias against this. It's really, really shady. You need to realize that even after all of these cases of supposedly raw milk being a cause of these bacteria, pasteurized milk still actually has more cases of infection, bacteria and spreading disease than raw milk. The reason for that is pasteurization does not make the milk sterile at all. In fact, it actually invites more bacteria, higher chance of bacteria. Why? Because the bacteria that was in the milk, the good bacteria that was making it good and healthy is not there anymore. So there's no competition. Any bacteria can just come in and completely take over the whole place, which is dangerous. It's absolutely insane how people have managed to twist this just from old 40 year old science that this is the case for all raw milk. Now let's talk about nutrition. Raw milk is insanely good for you. Calcium, much higher content. You have longer and denser bones using raw milk. There's large amounts of animal studies to show this and anecdotal evidence from people in the countries that actually are allowed to drink raw milk and drink it regularly. Vitamin B12, inactivated by pasteurization. Vitamin B6, very poorly digested in the gut with pasteurization. Vitamin D, in pasteurization, the vitamin D content is literally cut in half. It completely destroys the amount of vitamin D that is available. An enzyme which helps with the uptake of iron destroyed during pasteurization. Iodine, severely lowered in pasteurized milk. If you know anything about iodine, about the thyroid, this completely helps with testosterone production. If there's lower iodine, of course, it's gonna be a lower amount of testosterone indirectly raw milk is better in literally every single way i'm not going to go over all the other things but you get the point now let's go over pasteurized milk you know why lactose intolerance is actually increasing in the west by a severe amount it's because pasteurized milk is severely allergenic why because the proteins that are meant to be in the raw milk our body sees those and they're like okay those are good proteins however because of pasteurization the proteins completely crumble and they become foreign to the body so the body automatically thinks that those proteins need to be attacked and it's not good for the body. Pasteurized milk is extremely allergenic and there have been multiple studies to show the link towards this. Over 80% of people who are lactose intolerant can actually consume raw milk just fine. Case closed. But yeah, listen to the, 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 the science. Yeah. Milk is 
a uh, health hazard. The reason they pasteurize is because serious uh, bacterial contaminant. Bacterial contaminant. Raw milk is a superfood for baby calves. A baby calves. But if you're not a baby calf, I just skip it. Uh, li li listen to the same guy who's talking about how Coca-Cola is more healthy <laughs> than me. Uh, are you serious? It's the same studies funded by Bill Gates. Like, uh, are you not seeing this? Wake up, wake up. They don't want you healthy. Oh look, someone who thinks that raw dairy is entirely safe and there's no reason you should avoid it. Well, guess what? I wrote over a hundred pages of my master's thesis. Now, if this is just one of like those one and done videos, don't subscribe, it's cool. But if you made it to the end, you obviously enjoyed this content. If you enjoy the content and you think that I can give you more value in the future, subscribe bro and if you want a community of people actually drink warm milk and aren't just a bunch of bums <laughs> then join my community you can achieve anything the world is yours go out there and conquer